is the valley, the beautiful Napa Valley, spanning some 45,000 acres of vineyard lands. It's to support over 400 wineries. Plenty to do in the valley at your choosing. You can pick up a bicycle. You can fly above the valley in a balloon. If heights not your thing, get on a train right up and down the valley. Plenty of restaurants here in the valley. Lots of iconic, famous restaurants. Plenty of tasting rooms to pick your favorite wine that you like. Enjoy yourself while you stay here, but don't enjoy yourself too much. If this happens to you, my name is Bob the Sign Man. I go to work. I carry a badge. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. It's been a little while since I made a video. I've been really busy. Christmas is coming up here. and Now I'm going to take some time off. I'll be off for about 12 days at the end of the year. You know, the government say it was shut down at the end of the year. So I'm going to be making some street sign, street name signs today. I have uh, Jerome Way, Westgate, Alice Peak, Del Lane. It's up in the uh, Silverado Country Club area where all the golfers live, wannabe golfers. So what I'm going to do is make double-sided signs. I'll show you a couple little techniques that I use in this short little video. Well, I don't know how short it's going to be. I do get carried away, long-winded sometimes. Anyways. I'm going to cover both sides of the sign and I'm going to show you how you protect the other side because in the rollers that you use you have a rubber roller up top and then at the bottom you have a steel roller and if you try to cover the one side where the other side is exposed you're going to get some creases, it's damaged, it's not going to look as, as good. So I'll show you how you protect your sides when you um, double side a sign. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, here we are I'm back at the double-sided sign video. So what I've done is I've got my 36 inch blank. One side's not covered yet. One side is completely covered. Put my half inch reference lines so I can do because I'm going to be laying out a street sign here and I need that half inch border around there. It's important that when you cut your vinyl and you sheet it, that you sheet it all in one piece. No, no, um, cement it or anything because it will show up on the uh, finished product there and we don't want to do that. So make sure you have a nice covered. Sometimes I have a wide 36 inch transfer tape and I'll roll them out or these are cut. I cut uh, two at a time out and I just lay an 18 inch piece of transfer tape over the top so I get a nice um, nice coverage there. And what I do is I'm going to split these down the middle. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay out my, since I already have my half inch marks here, okay, I don't know if you can see those, so yeah, I mark them with the half inch, and I have these little uh, squares that I have set up, here's a half inch one, 0.500, um, and I just, you know, use a little grease pencil. I kind of found a new thing, I used to use these china markers, but I got these neat little jobbies now, they're like a little... Um, can and you just roll out the little lead, you just buy a little piece of lead for it. And I've been using these, they work a lot easier. I've tried all kinds of things too. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to lay this out. Make sure all my reference lines are lined up perfect. There we go. Like I say, perfect's just going to have to be good enough for today. As always, I want to make sure I remove those <clears throat> reference lines so they don't show through if I happen to get the green EC on the top of it. Pull this back. Pull it off. You should debris on the top. Then I always just take the palm of my hand, clean hands because you don't want to transfer anything through, no fingerprints, a little light pressure. We'll roll it out and do both sides. Okay, now we have one side of our sign done, and we're going to need to do the other side. So we don't want to peel off our transfer tape right now because that'll kind of damage our sign. So keep enough of these pre-cut. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cover the other side. 
Okay. Now that we have the wood side covered, we're going to go ahead and cover the other side. Leave the transfer tape on. It'll help protect your um, this side of the sign. The other side is still black. So we want to cover the other side of the sign. What we're protecting it from, you have the rubber roller, and then there's a steel roller at the bottom that really, when it goes in, it really applies that pressure to get good coverage so it sticks good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cover this side, leaving the transfer tape on. And then when I flip it over, there's a couple things you can do. One of them is to help protect it. I take an oversized sign blank. And you can roll it on like this and it'll help protect that image. Instead of having that hard steel roller roll over my image, I have that. It's protected by this oversized sign blank. And with the transfer tape on it, it'll help protect it really well. So I'm going to go ahead and trim up this side. I'm just taking off the excess around, just trimming with my knife here. I've showed you on some previous videos how I do that, so. This side covered. I'm going to go ahead and put on my half inch marks. Always double check and make sure I have it facing the same way. I need a few sides where one side is up and the other side is on the upside. One side's on the downside. That never looks good. Luckily, I've never installed one like that. And then I forgot what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put our oversized sign blank in there. It'll help protect it from that steel roller. Sometimes you can, I've done them where I've just left the transfer tape on. But this um, oversized blank will help. You can. I've gotten by using the same size blank before too. It just, it really depends on you. Off that, like I said, palm down, nice clean hands. we had down on the um, double-sided sign blank. And you can see why it's important to use one piece of transfer tape so you don't get that semen there to show. 
This drives me nuts when that happens. So now we have a side that has been protected perfectly. I don't know how well this is going to show up. Perfectly. There's no flaws in it or anything. And the same on the other side. As you can see, perfect on both sides. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no, if you don't, if you don't, uh, I found out though, if you just use the transfer tape, leave the transfer tape on, I always do till it's done. And if you try to roll it through with the transfer tape, it's going to smash it. And it's just not going to look as well. But this oversized sign blank that you use to protect it from that steel roller, I think that's a game changer. The industry is going to be revolutionary, revolutionized once they see Bob the Sign Man, how he does this. It's a little trade secret. I'm thinking it patented it. <laughs> I wish. Um, anyways, so this is, if you're noticing the space over there, that will get taken up. Right now, I'll show you how we do that. We have these county logos made. I just kind of center them by eye. Try to center it as much as I can in the middle here. has our logo on it Napa County California it's reflective at night it shows up a little bit not not as great at night but this shows up really well at night we don't care too much about the logo except in the daytime it distinguishes our private roads from our um, county roads anyway so this little video just kind of a little tip on how to make sure you have a nice clean double-sided sign it works well with any size sign application like I said the trick though I think is using that oversized sign blank and um, so just try it whichever way you like. Try it with just the transfer tape first and see, you'll see the results. And this way is definitely a lot better. Alrighty, as always, thanks for watching.